Welcome to Military Video Operator. All the active aircraft carriers of the world by country 2022. Firstly let me explain what an aircraft carrier is. An aircraft carrier is a warship that serves as a seagoing airbase, equipped with a full-length flight deck and facilities for carrying, arming, deploying, and recovering aircraft. Typically, it is the capital ship of a fleet, as it allows a naval force to project air power worldwide without depending on local bases for staging aircraft operations. Carriers have evolved since their inception in the early 20th century from wooden vessels used to deploy balloons to nuclear-powered warships that carry numerous fighters, strike aircraft, helicopters, and other types of aircraft. While heavier aircraft such as fixed-wing gunships and bombers have been launched from aircraft carriers, these aircraft have not successfully landed on a carrier. By its diplomatic and tactical power, its mobility, its autonomy and the variety of its means, the aircraft carrier is often the centerpiece of modern combat fleets. Tactically or even strategically, it replaced the battleship in the role of flagship of a fleet. One of its great advantages is that, by sailing in international waters, it does not interfere with any territorial sovereignty and thus obviates the need for overflight authorizations from third-party countries, reduces the times and transit distances of aircraft and therefore significantly increase the time of availability on the combat zone. HMAS Canberra L02 is the first ship of the Canberra class landing helicopter dock in service with the Royal Australian Navy RAN, and is the second largest in the Navy, succeeded by its sister ship HMAS Adelaide L01. Construction of the ship started in Spain in 2008, with the hull launched by Navantia in 2011. The hull was then transported to Australia in late 2012 for completion by Bay Systems Australia. Canberra was commissioned on 28 November 2014. The Canberra-class design is based on the warship Juan Carlos I, built by Navantia for the Spanish Navy. The contract was awarded to Navantia and Australian company Tenex Defence following a request for tender which ran from February 2004 to June 2007, beating the enlarged Mistral-class design offered by French company Direction des Constructions Navales. Canberra has the same physical dimensions as Juan Carlos I, but differs in the design of the island superstructure and the internal layout, in order to meet Australian conditions and requirements. Unlike the Spanish vessel, the Australian ships are built to meet Lloyd's naval rules. The Canberra-class vessels are 230.82 metres, 757.3 feet. Long overall, with a maximum beam of 32 meters, 105 feet, and a maximum draft of 7.08 meters, 23.2 feet. HMAS Adelaide L01 is the second of two Canberra-class landing helicopter dock (LHD) ships of the Royal Australian Navy (RAN) and is the largest naval vessel ever built for Australia. Construction of the ship started at Navanche's Spanish shipyard with steel cutting in February 2010. The ship was laid down in February 2011, and launched on 4 July 2012. Delivery to Australia for fitting out at Bay Systems Australia's facilities in Victoria was scheduled for 2013, but did not occur until early 2014. Despite construction delays and predictions, the ship was commissioned in December 2015. NAM Atlantico A140. Previously PHM Atlantico A140 is a landing ship and current flagship of the Brazilian Navy. Originally constructed in the United Kingdom for service with the Royal Navy as landing platform helicopter, she was commissioned on 30 September 1998 as HMS Ocean, serving until being decommissioned on 27 March 2018, and then commissioned into service with Brazil the following June. In 2017, media outlets began reporting that Brazil was interested in purchasing Ocean as a replacement for the aircraft carrier Sao Paulo, which was withdrawn from service in 2017 following multiple mechanical failures. The Royal Navy released an asking price of £80.3 million, $105.8 million USD, which the Brazilian Navy called convenient. In November 2017, the Brazilian Ministry of Defense began formal negotiations for the acquisition of the ship. 
In December 2017, the Brazilian Navy confirmed the purchase of the ship for £84.6 million, equivalent to 359.5 million Brazilian reals and USD $113.2 million. Following her decommissioning from Royal Navy service in March 2018, she would undertake a period of maintenance in the United Kingdom and was expected to arrive in Rio de Janeiro by 25 August 2018, with the intention of being commissioned and fully operational by 2020. Brazilian defence officials confirmed the purchase, as well as officials from the UK MOD, as of 17 February 2018. Liaoning is a Chinese Type 001 aircraft carrier. The first aircraft carrier commissioned into the People's Liberation Army Navy Surface Force, she was originally classified as a training ship, intended to allow the Navy to experiment, train and gain familiarity with aircraft carrier operations. Following upgrades and additional training in late 2018, Chinese state media announced that the ship would shift to a combat role in 2019, originally laid down in 1985 for the Soviet Navy as the Kuznetsov-class aircraft carrier Riga. She was launched on 4 December 1988 and renamed Varyag in 1990. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, construction was halted and the ship was put up for sale by Ukraine. The stripped hulk was purchased in 1998 and towed to the Dalian Naval Shipyard in northeast China. The ship was rebuilt and commissioned into the People's Liberation Army Navy plan as Liaoning on 25 September 2012. Its Chinese ship class designation is Type 001. In November 2016, the political commissar of Liaoning, Commodore Li Dongyu, stated that Liaoning was combat ready. Shandong is a Chinese aircraft carrier that was launched on 26 April 2017 for the People's Liberation Army Navy plan of the People's Republic of China. It is the country's first domestically built aircraft carrier and second in plan service after the completion and commissioning of Liaoning, from which it is derived. Shandong's class was initially suspected to be designated Type 001A, as Liaoning received the designation Type 001, but was revealed to be Type 002 at its commissioning ceremony. The class received the NATO reporting name Kuznetsov Mod, modified. Shandong was constructed by the Dalian Shipbuilding Industry, part of the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, in Dalian, Liaoning Province, China. According to the state Xinhua News Agency, manufacture began in November 2013 and laid down the keel for its hull in a dry dock beginning in March 2015. The Chinese government did not publicly confirm the ship's existence until construction was well underway. Satellite imagery for the defense analysis industry showed the aircraft carrier in the early stages of hull assembly by March 2015. Public photos of a hull with military characteristics at the Dalian shipyard surfaced on the internet the next month. In October 2015, the first definitive signs of the vessel's role appeared when construction of a hangar deck began on the hull. In December 2015, a Chinese Defense Ministry spokesman confirmed that the ship was an aircraft carrier, stating that the design and construction work was underway. Charles de Gaulle is the flagship of the French Navy. The ship, commissioned in 2001, is the 10th French aircraft carrier, first French nuclear-powered surface vessel, as well as the only nuclear-powered carrier completed outside of the United States Navy. She is named after French statesman and General Charles de Gaulle. The ship carries a complement of Dassault Rafale M and E2C Hawkeye aircraft, AS365F Dauphin Pedro, EC725 Caracal and AS532 Cougar helicopters for combat search and rescue, as well as modern electronics and Aster missiles. She is a CATOBAR type carrier that uses two 75 m C-133 steam catapults of a shorter version of the catapult system installed on the U.S. Nimitz class aircraft carriers, one catapult at the bow and one across the front of the landing area. As of July 2021, Charles de Gaulle is the only non-American carrier vessel that has a catapult launch system, which has allowed for operation of F-A-18E, F Super Hornets and C-2 Greyhounds of the U.S. Navy. The carrier replaced Folk, a conventionally powered aircraft carrier, in 2001. 
Clemenceau and Folk were completed in 1961 and 1963 respectively. The requirement for a replacement was identified in the mid-1970s. The hull was laid down in April 1989 at the DCNS Brest Naval Shipyard. The carrier was launched in May 1994 and at 42,000 tons was the largest warship launched in Western Europe since HMS Ark Royal in 1950. She was to be named Richelieu in 1986 by the French president at the time, François Mitterrand, after the famous French statesman Armand Jean du Plessis, Cardinal Richelieu. On 18 May 1987, however, the name of the ship was changed to Charles de Gaulle by the Gaullist Prime Minister at the time, Jacques Chirac. INS Vikrant, also known as Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 1, IAC-1, is an aircraft carrier constructed by the Cochin Shipyard Limited, CSL, for the Indian Navy. It is the first aircraft carrier to be built in India. It is named Vikrant as a tribute to India's first aircraft carrier, Vikrant R11. The name Vikrant means courageous in Sanskrit. The motto of the ship is Jayama Sam Yudi Spurda, means I defeat those who fight against me. Work on the ship's design began in 1999, and the keel was laid in February 2009. The carrier was floated out of its dry dock on 29 December 2011 and was launched on 12 August 2013. The basin trials were completed in December 2020, and the ship started sea trials in August 2021. Vikrant has been handed over to the Indian Navy. The indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant is 262 meters, 860 feet long and 62 meters, 203 feet wide and displaces about 45,000 metric tons, 44,000 long tons. It features a STOVAR configuration with a ski jump. The deck is designed to enable aircraft such as the MiG-29 Kelvins to operate from the carrier. It is expected to carry an air group of up to 30 aircraft, which will include up to 24 to 26 fixed-wing combat aircraft, primarily the MiG-29 Kelvins, besides carrying 10 Kamov Ka-31 or Westland Sea King helicopters. The Ka-31 will fulfill the Airborne Early Warning AEW, role and the Sea King will provide anti-submarine warfare ASW, capability. INS Vikramaditya is a modified Kiev-class aircraft carrier and the flagship of the Indian Navy which entered into service in 2013. Originally built as Baku and commissioned in 1987, the carrier served with the Soviet Navy and later with the Russian Navy as Admiral Gorshkov before being decommissioned in 1996. The carrier was invested by India on 20 January 2004 after years of negotiations at a final arms sales price of $2.35 billion. The transformed ship successfully completed her sea trials in July 2013 and first STOVAR aviation trials in September 2013. She was commissioned on 16 November 2013 at a ceremony held at Severodvinsk, Russia. On 14 June 2014, the Prime Minister of India formally inducted INS Vikramaditya into the Indian Navy and dedicated her to the nation. The combat systems on board the carrier are controlled by LESORUBE, the computer-aided action information system. It gathers data from the ship's sensors and data links and creates comprehensive situation awareness. The CCSMK-2 communication complex is installed for external communications and the Link-2 tactical data system enables integration into the Indian Navy's network-centric operations. Modern launch and recovery systems are installed for handling different aircraft, the Luna landing system for MiG-29Ks and the DAPS landing system for Sea Harriers. The Resistor E automated air traffic control system has been installed, which provides assistance during approach, landing and short-range navigation down to a distance of 30 meters short of flight deck to the pilots. Along with various other sub-systems, it provides navigation and flight data to ship-borne aircraft operating at long distances from the carrier. Cavour is an Italian aircraft carrier launched in 2004. She is the flagship of the Italian Navy. The ship is designed to combine fixed wing V, stole and helicopter air operations, command and control operations and the transport of military or civil personnel and heavy vehicles. 
the 134 meters, 440 feet, 2,800 square meters, 30,000 square feet hangar space can double as a vehicle hold capable of holding up to 24 main battle tanks, typically Ariat, or many more lighter vehicles, 50 Dardo IFV, 100 plus Iveco LMV, and is fitted aft with access ramps rated to 70 tons, as well as two elevators rated up to 30 tons for aircraft. Kavor can also operate as landing platform helicopter, accommodating heavy transport helicopters Augusta Westland UH-101A Ash and 325 Marines, 91 more, on option. The Kavor has a displacement of 27,900 tons but can reach more than 30,000 tons at full military capacity. It complements the Italian Navy's other aircraft carrier, the Garibaldi. The Italian Navy will replace its 16 Harriers with 15, originally 22, Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning IIs. By May 2020, the modernization to allow Cavour to support the F-35B was completed, and the carrier was ready for subsequent integration trials. Cavour will have room for 10 F-35Bs in the hangar, and six more parked on deck. Cavour was laid down by Fincantieri in June 2001, and was launched from the Riva Trigoso shipyard in Sestri Levante, on 20 July 2004. Sea trials began in December 2006, and she was officially commissioned 27 March 2008. Full operational capability FOC, was reached 10 June 2009. Giuseppe Garibaldi is an Italian aircraft carrier, the first through-deck aviation ship ever built for the Italian Navy, and the first Italian ship built to operate fixed-wing aircraft. She is equipped with short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft STOVL, aircraft and helicopters. Giuseppe Garibaldi was involved in combat air operations off Somalia, Kosovo, Afghanistan and Libya. The Giuseppe Garibaldi is the fourth ship of the Italian Navy to be named after the 19th century Italian General Giuseppe Garibaldi. All four ships, including the missile cruiser, together with an image of Garibaldi, are depicted in the crest. Built by Fincantieri, a Talcantieri, at the Monfalcone shipyards on the Gulf of Trieste, she was laid down on 26 March 1981, launched on of June 1983, and commissioned on 30 September 1985. Garibaldi is classed as an anti-submarine warfare carrier, ASW, and is based in Taranto. The ship is powered by four Fiat COGAG gas turbines built under license from GE, offering a sustained power of 81,000 horsepower, 60 megawatts. Driving two shafts the ship has a maximum speed of 30 knots, 56 kilometers per hour, 35 miles per hour, and can travel for 7,000 nautical miles, 13,000 kilometers, 8,100 miles, at around 20 knots, 37 kilometers per hour, 23 miles per hour. The ship was equipped with four Automat Mk-2 short-range surface-to-surface missile system installed at the stern of the ship, removed in 2003 to improve the flight deck and satellite communication and two ELOS-3 triple tube torpedo launchers. Defenses are provided by two 8-cell SAM launchers firing the SAR Espied missile, and three Otto Malara twin 40L70 Dardo CIWS. The ship also has many countermeasures including two Sklar-20 barrel launchers for chaff, decoy, flares, or jammers, the SLQ-25 Nixie and SLAT anti-torpedo systems and ECM systems. JS Azumo, DDH-183, is a helicopter carrier which, as of 2022, is being converted into a light aircraft carrier. Officially classified as a multi-purpose operation destroyer, she is the lead ship in the Azumo class of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, JMSDF. She is the second warship to be named for Izumo province, with the previous ship being the armored cruiser Izumo, 1898. The ruling Liberal Democratic Party announced in May 2018 that it favors converting Izumo to operate fixed-wing aircraft. The conversion was confirmed in December 2018 when Japan announced the change of its defense guidelines. Upon the completion of the process, Azumo is the first Japanese naval vessel to operate fixed-wing aircraft since World War II. 
The construction of the first ship of the Azumo class began in 2011 at an IHI Marine United shipyard in Yokohama, with funding totaling $1.5 billion being set aside in the fiscal 2010 budget for this purpose. The destroyers of this class were initially intended to replace the two ships of the Shirain class, which were originally scheduled to begin decommissioning in FY2014. Azumo, the largest Japanese naval vessel since World War II, was laid down on 27 January 2012 and launched on 6 August 2013. The ship began sea trials on 29 September 2014. The ship was commissioned on 25 March 2015. The ship is as large as a Japanese carrier of Second World War era. Azumo is called a destroyer because the Japanese constitution forbids the acquisition of offensive weapons, but the vessel allows Japan to project military power well beyond its territorial waters. JS Kaga, DDH-184, is a helicopter carrier with a conversion into an aircraft carrier having begun in March, 2022. Officially classified as a multi-purpose operation destroyer, she is the second ship in the Azumo class of the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, JMSDF, the other being JS Azumo. Her namesake arises from Kaga Province in present-day Ishikawa Prefecture. The ship bears the same name, and is slightly longer in length than the World War II-era Kaga, an aircraft carrier produced in 1928, which participated in the attack on Pearl Harbor. Kaga and Azumo are the first aircraft carriers built by Japan since the end of World War II. Kaga was built as part of a wider Japanese military buildup, triggered from heightened Sino-Japanese tensions regarding the contested ownership of the Senkaku Islands. Kaga is intended to replace the aging Shirain class destroyer Kurama, based on the schedule outlined within the 23 mid term Defense Capability Maintenance Plan to construct a 19,500 ton helicopter destroyer. Construction began at the Yokohama plant of Japan Marine United on 7 October 2013, and the ship was launched on 27 August 2015, with the commissioning on of March 2017. Construction of the ship cost US$1.05 billion. The ship can host up to 28 aircraft, or 14 larger aircraft. While Japanese nomenclature calls Kaga a multi-purpose operation destroyer, its main purpose is destroying enemy submarines. Despite this, only seven anti-submarine warfare helicopters and two search and rescue helicopters are planned for the initial aircraft complement. 400 troops and 53.5 ton trucks, or equivalent equipment, can also be carried. Admiral Kuznetsov is an aircraft carrier serving as the flagship of the Russian Navy. She was built by the Black Sea Shipyard, the sole manufacturer of Soviet aircraft carriers, in Nikolaev within the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic SSR, and launched in 1985, becoming fully operational in the Russian Navy in 1995. The initial name of the ship was Riga, it was launched as Leonid Brezhnev, embarked on sea trials as Tbilisi, and finally named Admiral Flota Sovetskogo Soyuza Kuznetsov after Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Nikolai Gerasimovich Kuznetsov. She was originally commissioned in the Soviet Navy, and was intended to be the lead ship of the two-ship Admiral Kuznetsov class. As of July 2021, Admiral Kuznetsov is out of service for a refit in Murmansk. In November 2018, it was damaged by a falling 70-ton crane from the floating dry dock PD-50 in a fire that killed two during the refit. The dry dock, which sank due to a power outage while holding Admiral Kuznetsov, was vital to repairing the carrier, which is not expected to re-enter service until 2022 at the earliest. In 2021, the vice president of the United Shipbuilding Corporation, USC, Vladimir Korolyov, told the TASS news agency that the vessel was expected to begin post-repair sea trials in mid-2023 and rejoin the fleet later that year, although this may have been pushed back a year or more due to delays. In May 2022 it was reported that repairs to the vessel were scheduled for completion in Murmansk in September 2022 but after flaws were found in the work, the date for the return to service was pushed back to at least 2024.
Juan Carlos I is a multi-purpose amphibious assault ship aircraft carrier in the Spanish Navy. Similar in role to many aircraft carriers, the amphibious landing ship has a ski jump for STOVL operations, and is equipped with the McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II attack aircraft or the new Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II fighter aircraft. The vessel is named in honor of Juan Carlos I, the former Spain. The new vessel plays an important role in the fleet, as a platform that not only replaces the Newport-class LSTs Hernán Cortés and Pizarro for supporting the mobility of the Marines and the strategic transport of other ground forces, but also acts as a platform for carrier-based aviation replacing the now-withdrawn aircraft carrier Principe de Asturias. The vessel has a flight deck of 202 meters 663 feet, with a ski jump ramp. The ship's flight deck has eight landing spots for Harrier, F-35 Lightning II or medium-sized helicopters, four spots for heavy helicopters of the CH-47 Chinook or V-22 Osprey size. The ship can carry either 30 helicopters or 10 twelfths McDonnell Douglas AV-8B Harrier II or Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II and 10 twelfths helicopters, using the light vehicle's bay as an additional storage zone. The ship uses diesel-electric propulsion, simultaneously connecting both diesels and the new technology gas turbine powerplant to a pair of azimuthal pods, for the first time in the Spanish Navy. Rox Docto LPH is the lead ship of the Docto-class amphibious assault ship of the Republic of Korea Navy, launched on 12 July 2005 at the shipyard of Hanjin Heavy Industries and Constructions Company in Busan. ROX Docto was the flagship of the 5th Component Flotilla of the Korean Navy until the launch of ROX Murado in 2018. Previously, this title was held by the 9,000-ton at sea underway replenishment UNREP, support vessel ROX Chianji. ROX Murado LPH is the second ship of the Docto-class amphibious assault ship of the Republic of Korea Navy. Murado was built with some changes compared to the lead ship Rox Docto. The flight deck is adapted to accommodate two V-22 Ospreys, while Docto was able to only carry one. In place of the Thales Smart L multibeam radar and MW08 surveillance radar, Murado uses the Elta Systems L M-2248 megafarads star multifunction surveillance radar and LIG Nex 1 SPS-550 Kelvin's 3D air and surface surveillance radar. It also has a different weapon suite than the 30mm goalkeeper and ram, instead using two 20mm phalanx CIWS and having a KVLS at the rear of the superstructure for the locally developed KSOM. The Murado was launched on 14 May 2018 at the shipyard of Hanjin Heavy Industries and Constructions Company in Busan. The Murado was commissioned on 28 June 2021 and is based at the Janae Naval Base. HTMS Chakri Narubet 911 is the flagship of the Royal Thai Navy RTN and Thailand's first and only aircraft carrier although the RTN refers to her as an offshore patrol helicopter carrier based on the Spanish Navy's Principe de Asturias design and constructed by Spanish shipbuilder Bazin Chakri Narubet was ordered in 1992 laid down in 1994 launched in 1996 and commissioned into the RTN in 1997 The ship is the smallest functioning aircraft carrier in the world the aircraft carrier was designed to operate an air group of B Stoll fighter aircraft and helicopters and is fitted with an aircraft ski jump Initial intentions were to operate a mixed air group of ex-Spanish AV-8S Matador Harrier V, Stoll aircraft and Sikorsky Shish-60 Seahawk helicopters. However, by 1999 it was reported that only one Matador was operational due to parts, training, and fiscal limitations, although three Matadors were spotted on the ship during a show of force after the 29 January 2003 Phnom Penh riots in Cambodia. Her entire Harrier V, Stoll jet fleet was removed from service in 2006. 
Although Chakri Narubed was intended for patrols and force projection in Thai waters, a lack of funding brought on by the 1997 Asian financial crisis meant the carrier has spent most of her career docked at the Satahib naval base. Chakri Narubed has been deployed on several disaster relief operations, including in the aftermath of the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami, and in response to separate flooding incidents in late 2010 and early 2011. Other than disaster relief, the carrier's few other departures from port are for a single training day per month, and transportation of the royal family of Thailand, leading to claims by some naval commentators that the ship is merely an oversized royal yacht. HMS Queen Elizabeth is the lead ship of the Queen Elizabeth class of aircraft carriers and the fleet flagship of the Royal Navy. Capable of carrying 60 aircraft including fixed wing, rotary wing and autonomous vehicles, she is named in honor of the first HMS Queen Elizabeth, a World War I era super dreadnought, which in turn was named after Queen Elizabeth I. The carrier Queen Elizabeth carries her namesake ship's honors, as well as her Tudor Rose Adorned Crest and motto. The ship began sea trials in June 2017, was commissioned on 7 December 2017 and entered service in 2020. Her first seagoing commanding officer was Commodore Jerry Kidd, who was appointed in 2014, but did not take command until May 2016, 20, having previously commanded the carriers Arc Royal and Illustrious. The ship is designed to operate B. Stoll aircraft. The air wing will typically consist of F-35B Lightning II multirole fighters and Merlin helicopters for airborne early warning and anti-submarine warfare. The design emphasizes flexibility, with accommodation for 250 Royal Marines and the ability to support them with attack helicopters and large troop transports such as Chinooks. She is the second Royal Navy vessel to bear the name Queen Elizabeth, and is based at HMNB Portsmouth. HMS Prince of Wales R09, is the second Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier. Unlike most large aircraft carriers, Prince of Wales is not fitted with catapults and arrestor wires, and is instead designed to operate STOVL aircraft. The ship is currently planned to carry up to 48 F-35B Lightning II stealth multirole fighters and Merlin helicopters for airborne early warning and anti-submarine warfare, although in surge conditions the class is capable of supporting 70-plus F-35B. The design emphasizes flexibility, with accommodation for 250 Royal Marines and the ability to support them with attack helicopters and troop transports up to and larger than Chinook size. The ship was initially planned to be either sold or mothballed due to budget cuts, but the government later decided to bring her into active service. Prince of Wales was formally named in September 2017. The completed Prince of Wales began sea trials in September 2019 and first arrived at her new home base of HMNB Portsmouth in November 2019. USS Nimitz CVN-68, is an aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, and the lead ship of her class. One of the largest warships in the world, she was laid down, launched, and commissioned as CVAN-68, aircraft carrier, attack, nuclear-powered, but she was later designated as CVN-68, aircraft carrier, multi-mission, nuclear-powered, on 30 June 1975, as part of a fleet-wide realignment that year. The ship was named after World War II Pacific Fleet Commander Chester W. Nimitz, USN, 1885-1966, who was the Navy's third fleet admiral. Nimitz had her homeport at Naval Station Norfolk until 1987, when she was relocated to Naval Station Bremerton in Washington, now part of Naval Base Kitsap. Following her refueling and complex overhaul in 2001, her home port was changed to Naval Air Station North Island in San Diego County, California. The home port of Nimitz was again moved to Naval Station Everett in Washington in 2012. In January 2015, Nimitz changed home port from Everett back to Naval Base Kitsap. With the inactivation of USS Enterprise in 2012 and decommissioning in 2017, Nimitz is now the oldest U.S. aircraft carrier in service, and the oldest serving aircraft carrier in the world.
USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, CVN-69, known informally as Ike, is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier currently in service with the United States Navy. Commissioned in 1977, the ship is the second of the ten Nimitz-class aircraft carriers currently in service, and is the first ship named after the 34th President of the United States and General of the Army Dwight D. Eisenhower. The vessel was initially named simply as USS Eisenhower, much like the lead ship of the class, Nimitz, but the name was changed to its present form on 25 May 1970. The carrier, like all others of her class, was constructed at Newport News Shipbuilding Company in Virginia, with the same design as the lead ship, although the ship has been overhauled twice to bring her up to the standards of those constructed more recently. Since commissioning, Dwight D. Eisenhower has participated in deployments including, the Gulf War in the 1990s, and more recently in support of U.S. military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. The carrier currently serves as the flagship of Carrier Strike Group 2. USS Carl Vinson, CVN-70, is the United States Navy's third Nimitz-class supercarrier. She is named for Carl Vinson, a congressman from Georgia, in recognition of his contributions to the U.S. Navy. The ship was launched in 1980, undertook her maiden voyage in 1983, and underwent refueling and overhaul between 2005 and 2009. Besides deployments in Operation Desert Strike, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Southern Watch, and Operation Enduring Freedom, Carl Vinson was involved in a number of notable events. The body of Osama bin Laden was buried at sea in 2011 from the deck of Carl Vinson, and that same year, on Veterans Day, she played host to the first NCAA basketball game on an aircraft carrier, between North Carolina and Michigan State. USS Theodore Roosevelt, CVN-71, is the fourth Nimitz-class, nuclear-powered, aircraft carrier in the United States Navy. She is named in honor of Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States and a proponent of naval power. She is the fourth ship named in honor of Theodore Roosevelt, three bearing his full name and a fourth with just his last name. Another three U.S. Navy ships have Roosevelt in their names in honor of members of the Roosevelt family. This carrier's radio call sign is Rough Rider, the nickname of President Roosevelt's volunteer cavalry unit during the Spanish-American War. She was launched in 1984, and saw her first action during Operation Desert Storm in 1991. USS Abraham Lincoln, CVN-72, is the fifth Nimitz-class aircraft carrier in the United States Navy. She is the second Navy ship to have been named after the former President Abraham Lincoln. Her home port is Nas North Island, San Diego, California. She is a member of the United States Pacific Fleet. She is administratively responsible to Commander, Naval Air Forces Pacific, and operationally serves as the flagship of Carrier Strike Group 3 and host to Carrier Air Wing 9. She was returned to the fleet on 12 May 2017, marking the successful completion of her refueling and complex overhaul RCOH, carried out at Newport News Shipyard. On 1 April 2019, USS Abraham Lincoln was deployed to the Middle East as the flagship for Carrier Strike Group 12 and Carrier Air Wing 7 assigned to her. USS George Washington, CVN-73, is a United States Navy nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the sixth carrier in the Nimitz class and the fourth U.S. Navy ship named after George Washington, Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War and the first President of the United States. The contract for George Washington was awarded to Newport News Shipbuilding on 27 December 1982. Her keel was laid on 25 August 1986, she was christened on 21 July 1990 by First Lady Barbara Bush, and the vessel was commissioned at Naval Station Norfolk on 4 July 1992. In 2008, USS George Washington became the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to be forward deployed at Naval Base Yokosuka, Japan. 
Since August 2017, the carrier has been in her four-year refueling and complex overhaul RCOH, which was expected to be completed by May 2022. After refueling was completed additional repairs were found to be needed and the overhaul was extended. In April of 2022 the Military Times reported an increase in suicides citing difficult working conditions for the crew. The repairs will not be completed until March 2023. USS John C. Stennis CVN-74, is the seventh Nimitz-class nuclear-powered supercarrier in the United States Navy, named for Senator John C. Stennis of Mississippi. She was commissioned on 9 December 1995. Her home port is temporarily Norfolk, Virginia, for her scheduled refueling and complex overhaul, RCOH, which began in 2019. After her overhaul is completed sometime in the 2020s, she is scheduled to return to Bremerton, Washington. The mission of John C. Stennis and her air wing, CBW-9, is to conduct sustained combat air operations while forward deployed. The embarked air wing consists of eight to nine squadrons. Attached aircraft are Navy and Marine Corps F.A-18 Hornet, EA-18G Growler, MH-60R, MH-60S, and E-2C Hawkeye. USS Harry S. Truman, CVN-75, is the 8th Nimitz-class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, named after the 33rd President of the United States, Harry S. Truman. Harry S. Truman was launched on 7 September 1996 by Newport News Shipbuilding, Newport News, Virginia, and commissioned on 25 July 1998 with Captain Thomas Otterbein in command. President Bill Clinton was the keynote speaker, and other notable attendees and speakers included Missouri Representative Ike Skelton, Missouri Governor Mel Carnahan, Secretary of Defense William Cohen and Secretary of the Navy John H. Dalton. Harry S. Truman was initially the flagship of Carrier Group 2 and, beginning 1 October 2004, of Carrier Strike Group 10. Beginning in 2001, the Harry S. Truman Carrier Battle Group participated in Operation Joint Endeavor, Operation Deny Flight, Operation Southern Watch, Operation Enduring Freedom, Afghanistan, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Summer Pulse, 04, and NATO Operation Medshark, Majestic Eagle, 04. USS George H. W. Bush CVN-77 is the 10th and final Nimitz-class supercarrier of the United States Navy. She is named for the 41st President of the United States and former Director of Central Intelligence George H. W. Bush, who was a naval aviator during World War II. The vessel's call sign is Avenger, after the TBM Avenger aircraft flown by then-Lieutenant George H. W. Bush in World War II. Construction began in 2003 at the Northrop Grumman Newport News Shipyard's Dry Dock 12, the largest in the Western Hemisphere. She was completed in 2009 at a cost of $6.2 billion and her home port is Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. George H. W. Bush measures 1,092 feet 333 meters and displaces over 100,000 tons, making her one of the world's largest warships though she is slightly shorter than USS Enterprise. Her top speed exceeds 30 knots, powered with two nuclear reactors, she can operate for more than 20 years without refueling. USS Gerald R. Ford, CVN-78, is the lead ship of her class of United States Navy aircraft carriers. The ship is named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerald Ford, whose World War II naval service included combat duty aboard the light aircraft carrier Monterey in the theater. Construction began on the 11th of August 2005, when Northrop Grumman held a ceremonial steel cut for a 15-ton plate that forms part of a side-shell unit of the carrier. The keel of Gerald R. Ford was laid down on 13 November 2009. She was christened on 9 November 2013. Gerald R. Ford entered the fleet replacing the decommissioned USS Enterprise, CVN-65, which ended her 51 years of active service in December 2012. 
Originally scheduled for delivery in 2015, Gerald R. Ford was delivered to the Navy on 31 May 2017 and formally commissioned by President Donald Trump on the 22nd of July 2017. The Navy announced that the carrier will sail on her first deployment sometime during 2022. As of 2017, she is the world's largest aircraft carrier, and the largest warship ever constructed in terms of displacement.